A grieving family and community activists are looking for justice after a 17-year-old was shot and killed in Jacksonville's Woodstock neighborhood less than two months ago. This is such a heartbreaking story. And News for Jax reporter Aaron Farrar is live for us this morning. And Aaron, Elijah McDonald's family and also Mad Dads are hoping the community breaks the code of silence. Yeah, later on this morning, they're all going to be speaking with residents in that specific apartment complex, going door to door, speaking with them, hoping to encourage them to come forward with any information, any information they may know uh, regarding Elijah's death, because they're hoping that some of that information may ultimately lead to an arrest for whomever is responsible for killing him. Elijah was found shot dead in the apartment complex of the Huron Sophia apartments back on September 27th that afternoon. So that all happened in broad daylight. No one has been arrested in this case so far. No one has been even identified or named as a suspect either. Elijah's mother, Ashley, says it's been immensely challenging dealing with the loss of her oldest son. Most things that I feel sad about is the things I'm going to miss out on because he was a child. He hadn't experienced life. He didn't have his driving license yet. He had his first car yet, first apartment. You know, he didn't have facial hair yet. All the things I'm going to miss out of him becoming a man, moving out, having his own place, getting his first real job, you know, having, you know, experiencing life. According to our News 4 Jax records, there have been 10 homicides so far this year in Duval County, with the victim being younger than 18 years old, and Elijah is in that category. The crime-fighting group Mad Dads Jacksonville is doing a canvas of that apartment complex later on this morning and nearby areas, hoping someone will speak up if they know anything. The group's outreach coordinator, A.J. Jordan, says this method can work. Sometimes uh, we know in our city, we have trust issues with with uh, law enforcement right now, which we're working on to uh, to rebuild. Uh, but we going in as regular citizens, seeing seeing the family out there, seeing the hurt and pain that this has caused them. It sometimes guys uh, the community. It touches their heart, and we are able to get the answers and turn those answers over to Crime Stoppers, or or the police. And they plan to start that canvas at that apartment complex at about 10 to 45 this morning. That address is 2800 Sophia Street. Again, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is still investigating this case. Right now, they're asking if you saw or heard anything back on September 27th that can help out with this investigation. You're asked to call police or call Crime Stoppers and any information you share, you can remain anonymous with. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, the local station.